What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough. Okay, so, it is finally time to go east, go into Olivian City and all that stuff, and, uh, well, it is finally time to switch it up right here, because, why not? A relic won't be evolving anytime soon, so it's time to train some of our Pokemon that need the training, and need to catch up to relic as well. So, here we go, we're going straight to whatever route we're going to, because, you know, we need to... And we need to get to Olivine City. Now, if you guys can't tell, I'm a little disappointed because still, freaking Relic won't evolve. So here we are in Route 38. We've already visited this place uh, before. Um, we trained just a little bit, and there will be some Pokemon trainers right here. So we're going to start off down here first because there's this pretty lady. And she's like, hi, aren't you a cute trainer? May I see your Pokemon? She thinks I'm cute. That's why we're battling because she makes me smile. She really does. So here it is, Beauty. Valerie, she is coming out with a hop hip. Mm hmm. I chose correctly with Toxie Batman. Alrighty, so let's go with that leech life since, you know, grass type, bug type, doesn't really, you know, it's a good matchup, but I, wow, that didn't really work out. Wow. Seriously? Okay, okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna play that way. We're gonna play it this way, okay. Alrighty, so there's that bite attack, and it's still with a uh, nothing. Finish it off for the Swift. Alrighty. That's a good one. That's a good one right there. Who is she coming out with? Bring on the next person. It, well, hopefully it's a real... A real uh, grass-type Pokemon. First time we're ever meeting a Skiploom right here. Going again with the uh, Leech Life. And, well, I guess Bug-type Pokemon don't affect uh, grass-type Pokemon here in Generation 2 just yet. So we're gonna go the old school way, physically beat the crud out of this Pokemon right here, and uh, that Skip Bloom is not surviving. Come on. Let's go. Let's go with that bite attack. Alrighty, alrighty. And look at that, Toxic Batman grows to level 24. Of course, he's gonna need that experience right there. So Valerie has been defeated. I'm glad I got to see your Pokemon. Oh, thank you. She's nice. She's very nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab this right here, and we get ourselves a berry, huh? Okay, so another berry that we probably need, and uh, okay, let's switch it. Toxic Batman, you already grew a level, so let's go with Kit Thunder. Kit Thunder, going up against this guy right here, and he's like, fly high into my into the sky, my beloved bird Pokemon. So I chose correctly right here. I don't know, like uh, seriously, I did not memorize this. It's just instinctual and. Well, I guess right, and wow, he has a Doduo. Okay. Kid Thunder, do your thing, because Kid Thunder does Kid Thunder things with Thunder Punch. And uh, that was easy. Alrighty, so I'm a little backed up right now with Kid Thunder, losing quite a few times, but you know, hopefully in this battle, it will actually give him more loving for us. Probably hates us just a little bit, because he did faint a few times. Especially when I was training him. He did not like it. And remember, in Generation 2 and beyond, fainting does a, does a screw up with your Pokemon's happiness. So just be aware of that. And wow, just coming, he's coming out with another Doduo. So another Thunder Punch for the win right here for this Kit Thunder. Mm hmm. Well, look at that. Yeah. Go for the Electabuzz team. You guys remember that girl from uh, the Generation 2 uh, anime? Yeah, she loved all yellow striped Pokemon. Pretty cool. Alright, so is there anything? No, we could go up here. You can actually find Miltank or Tauros, which is very rare. Um, another Pokemon you can find is Magnemite if you need an electric slash steel type Pokemon. And I'm gonna battle this guy. Almost battled him. It's like, I've, I've been over the seas, so I know all about, oh, I know about all sorts of Pokemon. Do you really? Do you? Do you? Oh, his name is Harry, so we'll find out. And wow, okay, so he he does know a little bit about Pokemon right here because he does have a uh, Kid Thunder's Kryptonite. But luckily for us, we got Dizzy Punch. Confused the crap out of his Pokemon. Look at that, and it's still. You know that that really irritates me because like I'm I'm usually the victim of confusion. Not paralysis anymore, confusion. It should stop, but there it is. Defeating that whooper. Nice and easy. Let's 
Threat Kid Thunder. You're doing everything. It's like, you're world class! Because I'm the Kanto League champ. And he's like, all kinds of Pokemon, or all kinds of people around the world live happily with Pokemon. Good! Okay, so we have... Ooh, here's a pretty lady right here. And she will be like, you seem to be good at Pokemon. If you are, how about give me a some advice? Never eat soggy waffles. That's clue number one right there. So here we go, last Donna. She want or Dana, she wants to come out with her flappe. I'm coming out with Kid Thunder right here. So the battle of the electric type Pokemon. Let's go, a dizzy punch. You know. That's a it's a good amount and uh wow. So it's gonna take a little bit longer for us to actually beat this Flappy. Since our attack went down and Okay. And there's that Thunder Shock. It really doesn't affect Kid Thunder right here. And uh, let's finish him off. Dizzy Pinch with with another one. And there we go. More experience points. Gotta love it. Has to love it. Kid Thunder kicking butt right here. And she's coming out with her Psyduck. So that's perfect for us because Kid Thunder needs more experience points. More love. He needs to love us. Why won't you love me, Kid Thunder? And that's the end of that chapter for Psyduck. And, uh, look at that. Dana just got defeated. I see, so you can battle with uh, that way. Okay. I'm pretty sure she gives us a phone call. I know something good. Moo Moo Farms Milk is famous for its flavor. You're really good po at Pokemon. Boys give me uh, items after battle, but sometimes they give me too much. Next time, I can uh, share some with you if you want. Okay. I think she gives us a stone too. A thunderstone? She probably gives us a thunderstone. She's probably the one that gives us a thunderstone. And would you look at that? Alan Schoolboy is calling me. He's like, I've studied since then. I uh, got a little bit better. We're hanging out at Route 36. I do not want to battle you. I only want to talk to you if you give me items. Leave me alone, Alan. So that's enough of that. And we have one more trainer right here. Let's go. Let's do this. Let me try something I learned today. Today on Pokemon Crystal, Schoolboy, what's his face? Uh, Schoolboy Chad, ready to get his butt kicked. And he's got a Mr. Mime. Alrighty, so he doesn't like physical attacks, so Kid Thunder, let's do this with a quick attack. Forgot I had that move. And doesn't take that much, but this Pokemon right here is about to mediate, or... Yeah. Alrighty, so Thunder Punch. Come on, you gotta knock him out right here. No. And there's that barrier attack. Okay, so we're not... We're messing with a Pokemon right here that likes to use barrier and stuff, but it faints. Beat you, experience points, checkmate. Schoolboy Chad was defeated. I didn't study enough, I guess. Pretty much, he didn't. So he's like, I have to, uh, like, I have too many tests. I don't have much time for Pokemon, so when I do, I... I do, I, wait, wait, so when I do get to play, I really concentrate. Huh? Is that thing a Pokedex? Have you met Professor Oak? Huh, you have. That's way cool. I have a dream of becoming a Pokemon researcher like Professor Oak. May I please have your phone number? We should chat about Professor Oak. I'm sure it will be loads of fun. No, I do not want to talk to you. I do not like you. You will not meet Professor Oak. Flipping you off. Gattaca. And here we have, don't you think my Pokemon and I are beautiful? Well, I don't know, let's see. I gotta take a look at the picture right here. Okay, you're looking pretty fine right there. Her name is Olivia, and coming out with the Corsola, and uh, wow, isn't Corsola a ground type Pokemon too? Yeah, it probably is, so let's Dizzy Punch it, and hopefully it gets Dizzy. It's called Dizzy Punch for a reason, and it's not, oh, look at that, it's confused. Come on, hit yourself. Hurt yourself. That's right. The process is here. And I'm gonna go with a light screen because I have a feeling this Pokemon wants to go for some special attack move. Come on, hurt yourself. Hurt yourself. Oh, come on. Well. Okay. So that makes it difficult for us because uh, Corsola is a very defensive Pokemon. Hurt yourself. You have to hurt yourself. And, uh, well, let's go again with another quick attack. And confused. Hurt yourself. 
hurt yourself. Look at that! Beating her out of confusion alone. Let's go, Kid Thunder. And... <laughs> oh, you're not confused. Oh, man, you know, status effects would really do me good right here. So let's go with another Dizzy Punch. Come on, get confused. Come on. Uh, but luckily that bubble won't do us any damage or won't hurt us much. Oh, come on. The one time I need it. And we're, we're just going to beat this guy with a Dizzy Punch. Come on. Finish him off. Let's go. Oh, come on! And you're confused. The one time I hurt you. Hurt yourself. No, and... Oh, come on! Okay. That really irritated the you-know-what out of me. Let's go with Relic, because... Why not? He finishes off everything for us. And... Hurt yourself. Hurt your... Oh, come on. So, we're back to square one against this Corsola right here. But luckily for us, we got Shadow Ball. Oh yeah, didn't expect that from an Eevee, huh? Hurt yourself. And it did, it hurt itself. Let's go with that Shadow Ball yet again. And there goes Corsola, Kid Thunder, and Relic, above 228 experience points, and, well, look at that. We drink Moo Moo Milk every day. Oh, no wonder. Okay, so... I think that's pretty much it for those guys, and trader tips, if a Pokemon is trying to evolve, you can stop it, press B, the, the, B, the B button during the evolution. That startles a Pokemon and stops evolution, or you could give it an Everstone, you know, that, either or, it still works. So here we are at Route 39, and uh, let's see, oh, we're close to Olivine City. Hmm. You know what, screw it. I'm gonna battle this guy. Let me see what your Pokemon are capable of. I'll tell you what my Pokemon are capable of. You just don't want to. You, you you're not gonna accept it. You will not accept it. So here we go, taking on Norman, coming out with his Slowpoke. Finally, a Pokemon I can use or can beat. Let's go, Thunder Punch. There we go. And uh, there goes a uh, Slowpoke right there. Really trying hard for Kid Thunder right here, and he's coming out with another slow poke. So, again, we're gonna go with a, a thunder punch. Oh yes, yeah, so I'm looking at, I'm loving that noise right there. And no more slow poke. And hello, level 25. Okay, Kid Thunder. Kid Thunder's trying to learn Swift, but it can't learn more than four moves. Delete another move. Yes, I will. Definitely need that move. So. Uh, let's take away Quick Attack because, you know, Swift will not miss. And that's it. Say goodbye to Norman. He's like, oh, yeah, your Pokemon are pretty cool. Okay. So no evolution. And here we are in the Moo Moo Farm. Enjoy our fresh and tasty milk. Look at that. Look at that. These look like cows. Mill tank. Moo. Okay, so... I'm gonna go up here somewhere. Oh, look, there's a berry, uh, berry tree. Let's grab that. The mint berry. Alrighty. I think that wakes you up. I don't know. Why couldn't berries be named like this in Generation 2? So, let's go in here and see if we can get some Moo Moo milk. And this guy right here is like, My milk tank ain't giving me milk and no more. This here farm's famous milk? Most, every, most everyone wants a drink. It'll give me lots of old milk if in I feed it. Wow, well, I can't eat it. Like, wow, I tried so hard. I really did. Feed it lots of berries, I reckon. So, if you guys remember, told you, save those berries for a very special occasion. I got nine berries. I could have gotten more. But it only takes like about seven berries to heal this Pokemon. Our milk even goes into Kanto. So, if our own milk tank won't give any, uh, any of us any milk, we're in trouble. So, let's go here, and, uh, well, would you look at that? There's that milk tank. He looks like he's huffing and puffing. Talk to her. Moo Moo is sick. She needs lots of berries. Hmm. Okay, that's one. Moo Moo is sick. She needs lots of berries. Okay, so I got lots of berries. Let's go. Moo. All right, let's give it a mill. That's one. Let's see. There's another one. Two. Give it three. 
Give it some milk. And look at that. Miltech became a little healthier. Give it let's give it some more. Let's feed it all our berries. Yeah, this Miltech is gonna be healed up in no time. Right here. Miltech became quite healthy. We're close. We're very, very close. And he's like, okay, here's another one. We got one more berry right here. And this Miltank is BAM! Healed. Miltek became totally healthy. That's right. We're feeding Moo Moo. Okay, so you're feeding Moo Moo. Okay, I was the one that was feeding Moo Moo. Jerks. Okay, so after that, talk to this guy. Hopefully we can read this. How would you like my Moo Moo milk? It's my pride and joy there. Give it to a Pokemon to restore HP. I'll give it I'll give it to you for just 500 Poke Dollars. Okay, so we got a Moo Moo milk. You know, he'll heal. It will heal our Pokemon. And this lady's like, "You fixed our Miltech, hun. Now it gives Moo Moo milk again. Here's something for your trouble. The TM13. You guys know what move this is. It's a very powerful move. That is Snore. I thought it was a uh, Ice Beam. I really thought it was Ice Beam. I got so excited. It's a rare move that only works while the Pokemon is asleep. You best think how uh, to how to use it, hun. Okay, I can't even speak." Can't even speak hellbilly or redneck or country or I don't know. No offense, really, no offense. Country rock star. I don't know how to speak country rock star. So we already did enough battles with or with uh, Kit Thunder. Now it's time to go back to uh, talk to Batman. I'm Batman. Such darling Pokemon. Let's let's show our Pokemon together at the same time. All right. Well, let's do this. See, look, 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 let's see what you got right here. So we're taking on Pokefan Ruth, and uh, she's coming out with a Pikachu. I want a Pikachu, I really do. But nobody will give me one, so I'm gonna destroy it with a swift attack. And, uh, well, there's a critical hit. Luckily, it didn't hurt us. And, uh, well, that's the end of that for Pokefan Ruth. She doesn't mind losing, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so, talk to this person right here, and this is a good time to brag about my Pikachu. Okay, alrighty. Bring it. Coming out with a Derek, and he's got himself his Pikachu as well. Alright. Okay, I know how to defeat this Pokemon. It's real easy. Just use Swift. Don't want to get hurt. I really don't. Look at that, Pikachu been defeated. Don't look good on you, huh? Mm-mm. So, Pokefan Derek, been defeated! I had no time to show off my Pikachu. Yeah, well, oh well. Okay, so moving on forward, there's one Pokemon trainer right there. There should be two. Okay, so let's go with Teddy, because Teddy needs some loving. And I believe it's close to evolving, too, which is cool. Let's do this. This guy's like, I just got back from Olivine. So how about a Pokemon battle? All right, bring it on. Let's go, homeboy. See what you can do. Look at this guy, flexing his muscles. His name is Eugene, coming out with his Poliwhirl. All right, pretty interesting Pokemon to have for a uh, sailor, but I got myself Teddy. And Teddy would use the headbutt. Hmm. Look at that, look at that. Good attacks right there, and well, they're coming out with a Raticate, so I'm going to stick with Teddy right here. And this Raticate, it's been a while since I've actually battled a Raticate. You can't find Raticates up in uh, the pre the previous route that we were in, probably at night time. Could be wrong. Or I could be right, I don't know, either or. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. And here he comes out with a Krabby, okay. Let's go with Kitanda. You know, take advantage of all the weaknesses right here, you know? So, Krabby, being the cool Pokemon that it is, Gonna be defeated with a thunder sh a thunder punch. And look at that. That's right. Easy. Easy money right there. So Eugene has been defeated. He's like, ah! I'm not going to talk to you because I'm pretty sure you want to give me your phone number or something. Trainer tips. Use headbutt to shake the trees, uh, Pokemon out, different kinds of Pokemon pop. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Okay, so, um, alright, let's see what, let's see what kind of Pokemon we'll find. Probably won't find any Pokemon. Nope, I was wrong, we found one Pokemon. Pretty cool, pretty cool, alright. 
and it's a hoot hoot. And unfortunately, this hoot hoot, 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 hoot is asleep because it only comes out at night. So I'm not gonna battle you. I'm just gonna put you back in the tree. You know, mind my own business, because you know that's that's the cool thing. Hoot, 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 hoot. I hope it gets dark soon. Hmm. So I'm pretty sure you'll battle her at night. So we don't need to battle any more Pokemon trainers. I think we're done right here. And let's go to Relic right here. And, uh, okay, so here we are in Olivine City. Finally, after a long time coming, and let's see what this guy says. That thing you have, it's a Poke, it's a Poke Gear, right? Wow, that's cool. Cool, cool, it is cool. Cool like a cucumber in Olivine City, the port closest to the foreign lands. Hmm, that's good, that's good, and whoa. This guy. You again. There's no need to panic. I don't bother with wimps like you. Speaking of weaklings, the city's gym leader isn't here. Supposedly taking care of a uh, sick Pokemon to, uh, at the lighthouse. Hm. Boo hoo, just let the sick Pokemon go. A Pokemon that can't battle is a is worthless. Why don't you go train at the uh, lighthouse? Who knows? It may make you a bit less weak. You know what? Screw you. I'm flipping you off. I am flipping you off, homeboy. Beat you three times and you're still calling me a weekly? Well, um, that's one thing that we need to do. Go to the gym. And a few other things right here in All of Wine City. So, you guys know what it is. Stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be exploring all of, uh, all of Wine City and the lighthouse. So, hope you guys will have fun with that. So, see you guys tomorrow for another episode of Pokemon Crystal. Thank <laughs> you.